could talk to the man who made this film? I think not, young lady. He's a doctor, not a filmmaker, so making this film shows how important he believes it is. Well, yeah, but I mean, I can promote the film to my fans. And I'm even going to market my own perfume called Love Jack. Look, I'm sure that he would want to talk to me. No, I, I, I don't think so. No, but I have so much I can tell him. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I, I hate to do this in such a pretty face, but I, I must end this call now. Wait, does Chad Chance live in Spain? Maybe it was a little more than just documenting cutting-edge science, but I didn't get duped as bad as Ariel. Hi, I'm Ariel. And you are about to partake in my class project, which I've titled, Drumroll Please, My Class Project. Hey, what's with the cameras? Uh, it's Ariel's assignment. Maybe if you went to class or read a syllabus, you would know something about it. My blog is myreality.me. <laughs> See, in my class project, my housemates are actually the stars, and I'm just holding the camera. It'll be really good, though, because we're all film and acting students. Hey, where's Chad? My guess is he's in his room working on his movie. Chad hasn't asked for his phone. Well, when you're up all night with five girls in your room, it's easy to miss a phone call. Holy shit! Chad, where is he? Looks like a crackhead came out of 12 to place. Yeah, and then Chad went out the window to go to the 7-Eleven for a Red Bull. What if someone forced him out of gunpoint? Of course, he's a film major. Because his desktop computer is gone and he's DVDs and all his hard drives. Wait a second, unless I'm wrong, everything that has to do with this movie project. Hey, Ariel. I think you can help out a little bit? So, this Chad Chance guy is fascinating. He starts off working for this big-time drug company, performing all these evil experiments on people. And then somehow he gets how wrong that is. Oh my god. It's like uh, the Victoria's Secret Warehouse hey, in here. Leave all the stuff alone. Oh. Wait, wait, what is this? It's a thumb drive. That must be seriously important. Chad hid in some pants. <laughs> I know, right? Go right. on. We gotta view this thumb drive. Maybe it has to include where Chad is. The second generation of drugs that can be seen in the movie Cupid's Arrow, used a similar cloning technology to reconstruct the pheromone system in humans. Are you messing around with your professor or not? I don't know what happened between us. When I'm around him, I get this nice feeling. Might not have anything to do with me or Sam. Might have something to do with that professor. He's cloned Cupid's Arrow. Grimes has hijacked a circuitry that causes people to fall in love. The company Chemitro came up with a drug that causes people to fall in love. Because of the potential demand for this drug, they have covered up the side effects, which include extreme violence and even death. When I left Chemitro, I took enough evidence with me to put them all in jail. And to add insult to injury, I've come up with what I call the love cues, a way to get the same result without their drugs. Which means, no side effects. The love cues renders everything else obsolete. Drugs, ridiculous books on how to get girls, Everything. A complete joke. So, not only does he stop taking the drug company's money, he also finds a way to get the same result without the drug. And to top it off, he wants to give it away for free. I mean, he's risking his life for God's sakes. And just because he thinks that it's right. Where's Chad? Uh, that's the ten million dollar question. Wait. Chemist police were after me, okay? Oh, and for all I know, the, the, the real cops might be after me too. Uh, I, I work at the neuropsych lab at the college. That's the same stuff that got Chad in trouble. Yeah. Uh, I, I came across some videos that show some messed up shit, some some bad kinds of experiments. Let us see it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Why wouldn't you let us see it? Because my girl Beth is in it. Uh, no, no, she's a, she's, a, she's a nerd for God's sakes. I mean, they got to her somehow. They, they screwed with her head. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I hope I didn't startle you. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Well, thank you so much for participating in this very important work.
Um, I, I know it's for science and the, the $250 doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Mm, okay, let me just review. Okay, you're 20 years old. You're a junior. Right. Okay, cool. So we know that these experiments started on some campus, but we don't know where. Are you getting that camera on my face again? Stop. <laughs> what are your thoughts on marriage? Marriage? I'm in favor of it, if my boyfriend ever gets around to asking me. A boyfriend? Describe him. His name is Stanley. <laughs> Who'd ever think I'd fall for someone named Stanley? <laughs> Go on. He's really cute, and he's really sweet, and he's smart. As a matter of fact, he works in another department in this building. That's how I found out about this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and is he, is he the type of guy that you usually go out with? Yes, yeah, they've all been a little like. <laughs> I guess they've, they've all been a little like my dad. That is up to now. I wonder what it'd be like, you know, to go with a bigger man. How long have you been working next to Um, about a year. And you don't have a girlfriend? No, actually, never have. But this isn't about me. If you see any suspicious dating behavior at your school, you have to let us know. been love jacked by Chad. So she is in effect heterosexual and I will let her give me a massage. <laughs> Besides my other two choices are T Kid and Ace and y'all know how that would go. I have not been love jacked. Our love is real. Just say his name again. Who? Chad. Oh he's so hot. If any of you blog heads blog about J Law loving Chad, I'm gonna have to delete it. Skype would freak. Of course she would. Chad and I are so in love. <laughs> Ow! That really hurts! What? I'm gonna take you! <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who told me that you asked for You asked for the massage. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Alright, myreality.me. Hot lesbian action. Oh, now not, all of your friends. Not really. Look, Chad, come here, baby. Oh, um, I miss you. <laughs> That video is actually the end of myreality.me. Personally, I think it rocked, but my professor didn't give me an A. He said that I edited it too much, so it didn't look like an actual reality show. 
I think that maybe I should have edited out the part about him drooling on my test papers. Oops. <laughs> Oh, so since then, uh, Sequoia Green, the company that made Cupid's Arrow, they saw my reality show on my blog, and so they brought in a whole film crew to film the sequel. Uh, uh, boom. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're great. <laughs> but anyways, uh, they want me to star in the movie, so I'm going to be in front of the camera where I belong, <laughs> movie star. For crying out loud. What's wrong, Mr. C? Arius isn't a blog to be in the lead. Who would do that? Best guess is camera drill. Or the government. Or it could be someone in the house. By the end of this series of video blogs, the training manual for the love keys, you will be able to seduce anyone of your choosing. The first part of this course, Unit 1, is an introduction to the science of love. Now, on to Chapter 5, Love Q Theory. We will explain how the genius of Freud and a century of psychological research can be applied to what is truly meant for love. The love cues. What's you gonna do about it? Uh. Oh! Ah. What's everyone screaming for? Oh, well, we thought you were gonna be ugly. <laughs> you know, like Phantom of the Opera? This mask isn't just to hide my identity. It's also to protect people from being accidentally love cute. I ain't worried about that, I ain't gay. That's not what I heard. Hey, it doesn't matter if you're gay or straight. The love cues override sexual preference. Uh, whatever you do, keep that stuff away from me, alright? Several lectures ago, we began this unit on love cue theory by breaking down the sexual drive into its critical elements. Now, you are experts in how drive theory drives the love cues, and how sexual drive in particular has been misapplied within psychotherapy. Of course, Freud knew that he had discovered the science of love. But if he had revealed that the real purpose of his theories were for romance, not science or medicine, he would have been considered a blasphemous two-bit hack. Instead of the greatest mind, the transform what became in the 20th century. Future lessons focus on developing your emotional temperature gauge to capture your love object. And that... Now... It's time to face things head on. Wizzy, stay here. When Sky comes, tell her that I went to the house and that she should meet me there. Uh, which Sky? Which Sky? My girlfriend, Sky. Uh, something we gotta tell you about Sky. Uh, what's he telling? Tell me. Well, we thought you didn't want to be found, so we kind of redirected her. Redirected her? Yeah, we thought he went back to work. Back to chemistry? I'm blind. Albert, you're not blind. The woman maced you. Mace? How did she get mace in here? It's all my fault. I thought it was breath spray. Albert, I need you to do something very important. General Mills is coming over for a meeting, and I need you to go get two large pepperoni pizzas. But I can't see. Open your eyes, Albert. You'll be all right by the time you get to the gate. Hurry up, Albert. So, what brings you here on this beautiful day? It's raining. Raining? Huh? I guess I uh, don't get out enough. But we have some fortuitous news. Chad Chance's girlfriend has fallen right into our lap. Bait. That's good. That's real good. It's about time we have a talk with Mr. Chance. Things are moving fast. But we're going to have to have a new doctor. What's wrong with Carruthers? 
guy is the worst. All he does is sit around and play cards while poor Albert is getting beaten half to death by a bunch of love-crazed women. He did his job. His reports brought to light the potential for these love drugs. If we can love Jack our enemy, there's no need to kill him. I know that. I know that. Who do you think you're talking to? I invented that. On a geopolitical scale here, X. If we can get the whole Arab Peninsula to fall in love with that Jewish God, Jehovah, or get the whole world to fall in love with the president, we could create the Christ, the, 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 the Antichrist, whatever. It'll help America keep the world safe. I love what you're getting at, gentlemen. But we're going to have to replace Karamas. Fine. I have someone in mind. I'm not sold on any of it. I still think Chad is up to his old tricks. Nah. I mean, if this was a hoax, how do you explain j being cute? If you don't love me, just say so. Don't make up stupid stories about not being a lesbian anymore. I don't know what happened. Maybe I was a closet heterosexual. One sec. What is that? What? This is like the Bible of love. What? And it's like his complete theory on the love cues. You have to study this, man. I mean, you know, if they get chat, we have to continuous work. Come on, man. You want to use this to pick up chicks? Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> To you. We've been so worried about you. Kemicho put a bounty out on my head. I, the house didn't feel safe. Wait, Kemicho? Does that company actually exist? Because I googled them and I couldn't find anything. Yeah, nobody can. It's, it, it's like a, a code name for the military's love drug project. Kind of like the uh, Manhattan Project. It's all under wraps until uh, kaboom, Hiroshima. Oh my gosh. How did you get involved with them? One of the professors at school was asking for a volunteer for a study, and I thought my girlfriend could use a couple extra bucks. Oh my gosh, no. I didn't know what they would do to her, obviously. Just, I mean, I have to help her. I just, I don't know how. Well, come in. We'll figure something out. No, I can't put all of you in danger. Bye, Ariel. What are you complaining about? It isn't even broken. The doctor said I need to rest it. That was me, you idiot. I need to go to the hospital. They're not gonna take you. You don't have any insurance. I'm not on the company plan. Company plan, company plan. We don't have a company plan. We're all doctors here. I just need you to go and get some pizza. You don't get it. I invited her to live with me. So? You didn't know things would change? She flew across the country. I mean, she transferred schools to be with me. I can't just kick her out. At least not until she has somewhere to go. Oh, well, that won't take long. <laughs> Longer than you think. But you know what she said to me? She said she's going to stay here until she wins me back. Uh -huh. mm. Oh. <laughs> well, Ace would like that. Huh? He's got this nuclear crush on her. He's locked himself in his room until he finds a way to seduce her. First of all, she is way out of his league. Yes. Oh. 
Send her in. Dr. Dragon is here. Who's that? It's Carruthers' replacement to the general who's talking about. Holy moly. Do you like pepperoni on your pizza? This is going to be so good. Quick, Albert, ten dollars. Go and get pe pepperoni pizza. Pe pepperoni pizza. And stop complaining. It's just a dislocation. I don't like pepperoni. It's okay. You're not going to get any. So I started out filming this reality show as a school project, and that's when things went really crazy. So it's not exactly that simple. Good, I like a challenge. <laughs> okay, see, our housemate Chad is in danger because he's been exposing corporate crime, and I just found out that somehow the military is involved now. Political projects? I love political projects. This makes me want to help you and your boyfriend out even more. Oh, <laughs> no, no, Chad's not my, my boyfriend. Really? Your eyes light up when you talk about him. Um, wow, that's just because, you know, he's risking everything to help save these people from this love drug, and I just think he deserves our help. What's the deal? I've got it. You learned the love cues? No. I am the love cues. <laughs> Sounds like you used it on yourself. There's no way you could have learned the love cues that fast. It's not true, man. It's just like the Matrix. I just program myself just like Neil. Like, you know what I mean? Right, right. No, but seriously, you just wait and see. Kayleen will be carrying Ace Jr. by Friday. Yeah. You guys are made, all right? I think we should stop blocking Chad's blog. No way. We're going to make a fortune sell on the love cues. No. He's going to be really pissed off. No. Not when he gets his cuts. What do you mean you didn't get any of the blogs? When I say I didn't get any blogs, I mean I didn't get any blogs. Didn't you send the blogs? Yes. You have absolutely no idea what happened to those blogs. Oh, I'm sorry, are you accusing me of something? It must be important because he's risking his life just to expose Chemotro. And we're stopping him. No, we're stopping him from giving away for free. It's like we're protecting him until he gets his senses back. I heard that you were thinking of some crazy perfume. Uh, yeah, and a cologne. Look, it's a great business idea. In reality, the perfume that can get you the person you want and seal the deal too. You're talking about love jacking hundreds of thousands of people, Ariel. You're just like Kevin Trill. Hey, Ariel, anything new in your blog? Can you, can you say that again? You didn't really put anything behind it. This is reality. We don't do takes. But where did you find her? Craigslist. Figures. <laughs> wow, deja vu? <laughs> we didn't expect to see you again. Oh, oh hey there. Well, I went home and two guys were ransacking the place. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Hey, maybe those are the same guys that tore our place. Exactly. That's why we all need to stay in one place. I'll get it. What is this, Grand Central Station? Gee. Um, you know, Stanley, I was hoping that maybe you could help me with something. Hey, we're in it together. Package for you, Ariel? Everyone, uh, this is Linda. She's the model in my perfume commercials. Hey, everybody. Ariel, I gotta run. Do you have my new script? Uh, I left your script by the front door. Perfect. Thanks. Wait, perfume? Commercials? Yeah. Didn't I mention it? Uh, no. You didn't. It was on my blog. Wait, you mean you were serious about using love drugs in your perfume? Yes. The scientific name is called an amorotrope. Aren't we the educated ones? Wait, what do you say? Are you using chemotrope drugs? No, not yet. Uh, that's actually what I was hoping I could talk to you about. Listen, I don't know anything about it other than that we saw my girlfriend in the video. 
Oh. I'm really worried about her. Mm -hmm. Keep your chin up. We'll find her. Aww. J-Lo's after Stanley now. Oh, you are such a jerk. What's bothering him anyways? What's bothering me? What's bothering me is my girlfriend is in a lab somewhere and I can't get her out. I'll bet That's you with my help you could. How could you help? We don't want to know. Good luck, you two. Wow, you know, way to go. You, know, you guys are actually supposed to say that it's too dangerous for a girl, so you'll go with him instead, but totally cool. Don't worry about it. Look, I don't think any of us should go. I mean, especially not Stanley. They know him. I don't want to sit around here and do nothing. Well, it's better to do nothing than walk like oxen to their slaughter. <sighs> that was better than Shakespeare. Can you shut her off? I suppose you're right. I still wish that I could get a little of that Mortro for my perfume. Mortro? That's it? I was totally wrong. About what? You should definitely go get that. Ace, could I see you in the office for a minute? Okay. Well, this is a male only office, so uh, none of you ladies follow me. Like anyone cares. I hate to admit, but I was involved in the worst of it. I took these different drugs and I experimented on people in the lab in all sorts of illegal and dangerous ways. What the heck are you getting us into? Think about it. The only way Chad figured out the love cues, because he used the drug and studied exactly what happens when you fall in love. It sounds really crazy just walking into chemotrope. Listen, bro, if we get those drugs, Anything is possible. Chicks? Money? Ruling the world's not out of question. Where Hitler, Hannibal, Obama failed, I will succeed. Spoken by a man in his sixth year in college? Hey, you know I take it personal when we talk about Obama. All right, all right. Let's just talk about his evil white half anyways. Look, if you're not gonna come with me, I'm gonna do it alone. This is my big chance. Hey, that's not fair. Plus, you're too reckless to do it by yourself. Is he gonna come or what? Okay. Okay. I'll do it. Yeah, I knew it. Woo! What is it you're researching? I've always been interested in what it is that makes one person fall in love and the other person not. There's no way I'll ever hook up with you. I wouldn't be too sure about that. This shot is not administered in the yard. You've got to be kidding me. Ow! But this, it's for your nose. He gave me some kind of nasal spray. He said it was a new procedure. I don't know, I just get this weird vibe like she's into someone else. Watch that Cupid's Arrow movie, especially the uncut theatrical version. Yo, don't tell the girls we talked to you into doing this. I mean, J-Law would kill me if she found out. You didn't talk me into anything. I need to do this. I I've been through all the labs at our university. It has to be in Chemotrope's secret headquarters. Really? One day I followed the van that took all the girls. It went to Chemotrope. Did you see where they dropped them off at? No, I couldn't get through the gate. There were armed guards. All right, then. Let's we'll start at that gate. I just got word that those meddling kids are on the way up here to save Beth. Beth. What happened? Our plan is working. How are they gonna get past the armed guards at the gate? Don't worry. I put the one man up there that anyone can get by. Albert.
took you long enough. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> yeah, I got a pizza for a Mr. Uh, Albert. That's me? Yeah, okay. Uh, headquarters sending on down for you. You mean Dr. X? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Dr. X left a pizza for me? Yeah, so, uh. You're not going to get in uh, Why don't you go ahead and open the gate? A pizza for me? and Stanley's tied by himself because the man said he didn't want to waste rope on the likes of us. Oh, great. What's next then? I think they're gonna kill us, that's what I think. Well, is there a second choice? Where's the girl? Yeah, I'm bringing her in now. Where is my boyfriend, Stanley Plotkin? You can forget about him. He's locked up with his buddies. Creep. Stop her! Stop her! No, you idiot! Don't go after her. I'm so confused. What is he doing? He's trying to find his keys. Uh, Did you find them yet? No. But... I think I found that girl Anne's number. <laughs> How does that help us? It doesn't, but at least I know what I'm doing when we get out of here. They're gonna kill us, I just know it. You know, you're a real downer. Oh no, that's them. Oh no, it's that crazy girl that mauled Fritz. And my girlfriend. What? Let's get you out of here. Hey, uh, you mind a little help over here? Huh? Oh, nice. Thank you. Um, oh, so oh, much better. Come on, guys, yeah. Uh, easy, easy. Well, we didn't even get the love drug yet. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, come on. Oh, wait, we didn't get the love drug yet. Uh, hey, and we didn't get killed neither. Let's get out of here. Why should I spray us with that perfume? You're a scientist. You can't be so stupid to think that perfume is going to make me attracted to her. See what I have to deal with. Jim, why did you get involved with this program if you have such negative feelings? We have kids. If there's any chance it could change if it's worth a shot. <laughs> a long shot is more like it. How was it between the two of you in the beginning? In the beginning? It was great. Even the sex? That's what I mean. Yeah, uh, we weren't what you'd call a romantic couple. Uh, you weren't? No, we were more like kids. How so? Well, uh, one time we may believe we were a gay couple. I was Kermit the Frog and he was <clears throat> Fozzie Bear. But that's all over now. I haven't touched her in over a year. At least we have you both in the same room. My assistant Albert will be taking over and I'll be observing the entire time. Yeah, right. Now you've got excellent timing. You mean last night? No. 
Albert has just started a new experiment. Oh, is this the one where the hermaphrodite falls in love with itself? No, that was yesterday. Watch, this one has universal application. Yeah. This is the one that brings in the big bucks. Mm -hmm. Dragon's lab technician, Albert. I'm going to be directing the session. Lab technician? You look more like a shrimp. See how awful he is? He's like a big, spoiled, rotten child. That's it. I don't have to take this shit. Show this experiment. I'll take my chance with the lawyer. Get him to open the damn door. Dr. Dragon, if you're really looking, I can't take another minute with this bitch! And that shrimp! Sir, you signed a consent for treatment. The door will remain locked until the session is done. Come on, Jim. Let's just do this and get out of here. Then we can go to the lawyers. <clears throat> I need you to sit close together. How long have you been married? Too long. Please answer the question properly. Too long. All right. How many children do you have? Oh, Countingham, three. I need to know, Jim, what are you feeling for Diana right now? Honestly? I think I could do her on the couch right here. <gasps> Wait a minute! We haven't decided on who we're gonna be! How about I'm Pinocchio and you're Jiminy Cricket? Who's he gonna be? Nostradamus the whale. Whale? He's a two. He's a. He's a shrimp. Oh, honey, please. Whale. Alright, he's a whale. You're the whale. Uh, come on over here. No. He can't come over here because he's beached. You're right. We have to go to him. Oh, you can't no. swim away. Help. You're beached. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to be Pinocchio anymore. Who do you want to be? The whale rider. Oh, yeah. No. Albert. Yeah. Oh, no. Albert. Albert. How long have we been friends? Well, too long, obviously. But you are so jealous of me and Chad that you would rather Chemotrope catch him and kill him. First off, I'm not in love with Chad, and that's not what you told me. Uh -huh. And if I were, I definitely would not be jealous of you. Whatever. Well, you are a feisty one. Yes, I have a very high testosterone. Okay, uh, I think we need a plan. Anyone got anything? Something else on your mind, Doctor? Yes, it's the chat. Every time we're close to getting him, he slips away. General Mills operatives are closing in on him. What if they fail? Don't worry. If they do, our mole in the house will get the job done. This blog fiasco is distracting me from what's really important. What's that? Sky. We've got to get her out of chemotrope before something really bad happens. Hey man, don't go there. You're the one they want. I don't care. I'm going.
I'll have to. I'm coming for you. Run for it! Switch the hoodie trick. Hey, for 500 bucks, I'll work for you guys. 500 bucks, you gonna work for us? 500 bucks? Huh? Shut up! How much if I shoot you in this leg right here? Huh? Or behind that eye? No, not behind the eye. He's too young. Too young. How old are you? 14. 14. 14. Hmm. Remember that? Yeah, Lisa Hutton. Oh, Lisa Hutton had a big ass. You know mm. Good time. Somebody whip his ass. You should whip his ass. I'm gonna whoop his ass. Whoop his ass. Think about how I'll whoop his ass. Using the love cues, someone that looks like a frog could get you to fall in love with them, and there would be nothing you could do about it. So I've been working frantically on an antidote. The clock is ticking. Let's hope the bad guys don't get me first. Okay, what is going on? How would you like to make a bet? So, Chad thinks that one of us is a chemotrope plant. <laughs> Clearly, nobody in here can be trusted, including the two of you sneaking off to your secret closet. What? How could T-Kid, me, you, and Ariel be plants? We've been here before all this started. He has a point. No, he doesn't. Anyone could have been paid or loved Jack to be a turncoat. Like you? She has a point. Well, we need a system. One where two people take care of each other. Okay. Look, with this group, I don't even see how that's gonna happen. Shh, 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 shh. I think I hear someone. No. We must keep your identity a secret, but your time has come. It is time to lead the oxen to the slaughter. Yeah, any lesbian biker bar. Listen to this place. The only chance I have is to cue. You sure you don't want to think this through? So did you trick Ariel to doing this reality show project, or? Shit, it's good, man. Man, what took you so long? I'm just lucky I got away, dude. What is this place? How am I supposed to hide out here? Well, I, I got these neat bedrolls just for you. Considering my budget, that's pretty good. Man, you better start making this place livable. Give me a break, dude. And those guys, they weren't actors, they were government agents. You said you were getting bored. 
You said no risk of being shot at. I was shot at. Pay me more money. Nah, man, you were at no risk. You, you saw the caliber of those handguns. You saw the yard lines when we ran by them. Those guys are at least 50 yards out of range at all times. I gotta check out Arrow's block, and then I got some work to do. That'll work. <laughs> Maybe Chad knows more than I thought he did. What do you want me to do? Ace needs a little pick me up. He's gonna try to seduce you, so I was wondering if you could let me. What kind of girl do you think I am? I didn't mean you had to do him, just give him the impression that his seduction is working. Do I really mean so little to you? I just... Hey, what do you guys do? <laughs> what was that for? I think she's falling for me. Bringing those meddling kids Pepperoni half whipped cream? Yeah, it's us. Uh, here, just keep the change. Thank you. So, uh, how long have you been working as a pizza girl? Um, about six months. Oh, yeah? You don't like it, do you? How do you know that? Well, you're a very expressive girl. I mean, plus, you know, I can tell you have something on your mind. Yeah, it's funny you say that. This job actually takes up so many hours. I should be studying instead. Yeah, it's just not fair, right? It's like some people get all the breaks and people like us, we have to work our ass off for everything. You know it. Well, uh, I know you have to get going and all, would, but... Uh, um, would you maybe want to get together for coffee sometime? Yeah. Uh, how about I pick you up after work on Tuesday? Great. Awesome. All, all right. right. Okay, bye. I got next. What do you guys want? Well, we were looking for Livia, but we got lucky and got you both. Is there something oh. I can help you with, TK? Well, we have a business idea, and we were looking for someone to shoot some videos for us. I'd be happy to help. Okay, what's the big idea? Well, we're not at the part where we tell the idea yet. <laughs> That's because it's one of Ace's stupid ideas. <laughs> stupid, huh? A website that sells love cues and makes us millionaires? Way to go, champ. You guys are stealing Chad's idea. Look who's talking, the perfume girl. Yeah, well, you know, what you're doing is really wrong, and I think that I should tell Chad. You wouldn't do that. Oh, you bet I would. Well, is there anything we could do to change your mind? No. Absolutely nothing. What if... We sell the perfume on the website. On the front page of the website? Wow. Well, I was thinking more of a link. But, uh, you got it. All right, I like what I'm hearing. <laughs> General Mills, to what do we owe the honor of this interruption? Aren't you gonna help out poor Albert? Sure. All you gotta do is hit the button for the orders. God, I love it when you give the general orders. <laughs> Actually, General, I do need your help. Our mole in the house almost got those kids up there. Almost doesn't count, X. I'm gonna have to get my agents to perform the operation. I guess my performance wasn't good enough. But I do think that you guys should hold off on this website thing until Chemitrip loses interest in us. Are you kidding? You know how much money Google loses every day that they're down? Okay, fine. But we have to let Chad's blogs go through then. That way he won't suspect us. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. Hey, get up, bitch. Chemitrip's got us surrounded. 
What are we gonna do? Hey, this is a fortress. No one can break through here. Very funny. Not as funny as your face. I wish I had footage of your face when you got shot at. <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this, man. You know, I'm not getting paid enough either. And Kevin Trump's actually after me. How about some good news? I got us breakfast. That's the good news? Your blogs are back up. Really? Finally. Now I can post before Kevin Trump tracks me down. Well, uh, sir, they, they split up on us. Oh. The old split up on us technique. Huh. And there are three of them. And two of us. Albert! You can't serve the general and his agents hard lemonade. They're on duty. And I specifically said Minute Maid. Dr. Dragon is about to present to you the next generation of modern warfare. It's a bigger advance than the atomic bomb. It will definitely change the geopolitical military climate of the world and escort China back into the Ice Age. Oh, crush him. I'd like to present to you your lecturer for the evening. And I might add, the deadliest double agent in the whole world. That's enough. We know who she is. Thank you. This overview is of the uses of amortropes in special operations, for those of you that need clarification. These two need a heck of a lot more than clarification. Amorotropes are a class of drugs known as love drugs. Let's say you fly into a hostile country and you need information. Now, if you were to love Jack, the head of the targeted country Central Intelligence Agency, they will talk to you. And more importantly, it will be at the same trust level and intimacy as a spouse or a lover. <laughs> yeah, that's why I became a special agent. Hello. <laughs> Well, you two will be very happy to know that this will eliminate the necessity for attractiveness and espionage. She can't be talking about us. <laughs> oh, man, you're a good looking guy. Very attractive. Thank you, by the way. You will. Yes. Example. You can take a very unattractive spy wearing the Amorotrope and the targeted person will still fall deeply in love. It's also extremely helpful when incarcerated. One can seduce the prison guard and not only use them to escape, but also to carry out the mission. Gentlemen, this can work on the highest of levels. Ambassadors, cabinet members, prime ministers. Right now, we believe that the love drug can affect a peace settlement in the Middle East. We're just trying to decide whether to use it on the Israelis or the Palestinians. All right, peace in the Middle East. I hate that. We haven't even discussed large scale use. But the Pentagon boys are calling the love bomb. Yes. A strategically dropped bomb can have the whole love-struck city of Beijing falling one agent to the Siberian front. These agents don't need to hear anymore. They've heard enough to realize how important this is so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. All right, all right, we get it. We're going to track down this uh, Chad. Chad character. We are on it. Time to kick some ass. Sir. Sir. Plans in place. Everyone in that house will be lowered here within 48 hours. For their own safety, of course. Aileen, how did you and Jalen meet? What difference does it make? She's in love with that loser, Chad, now. How is that possible? Uh, the jerk cued her. But he's not a loser. He's not a jerk. The stuff that happened to me at Kim and Trope was real, real bad. If Chad has done anything like that, he's as big a monster as Kim. But I'm not gonna sit here and listen to you talk about my man like that. <laughs> Unbelievable. I lost her to a man. One thing I learned when I was at Kimetro is that a reverse was possible. Really? Yeah, it's like a regular love affair. Whatever causes people to fall out of real love can reverse a love jack. But she got cued. Cued, love jacked. Once you're there, it's all the same. Love is love. I call that love? What Chad did is really awful. Because we have to get him to reverse it. Do you think that asshole will do it? Who knows? But even if he blows her off, that might just make her want him even more. Well, what if he said he had AIDS? Or if she caught him in bed with someone else? That could work, but you know, no one really knows what makes a person fall out of love. I mean, the only thing that could have a chance of working is if he were to reverse the cues. Could you get him to do that? I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to think about Why? it. Why? 
I'm just not completely sure that she was cute. Maybe Chemotrope has gotten to her and she's actually a spy. I mean, she may be messed up about love, but you can't talk about her like that. She would never do that to her friend. See how in love Kayleen is? We have to reverse Jayla's love back. Okay, you're right. We can leave a message for him on the blog. What do you think I should say? Get back here. <laughs> and make it clear that he needs to reverse cure. You know, he might not have figured out how to reverse cure yet. You guys don't tend to think that far ahead. What's up, Stanley? How did you uh, reverse the love jack on the back? Uh, true love finds a way. So, um, what's the holdup on your perfume? Uh, um. I need third generation Amora chips. That's gonna require you going to the chemotrope. That's the last place we need to go. This pomegranate wheat ale is delicious. <laughs> is there any acai in here? <laughs> Blow it out your ear. <laughs> it's just beer. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good one. Oh well, you know. But you are pathetic. <laughs> Who, us? Guys that are gonna sell Chad's love cues and make millions? Us? When did I become a part of this? Yo, you're way over your head. Yeah, well, you make sense to me. Yeah, dollars and cents. <laughs> <laughs> you're worse than he is. <laughs> oh, and you're one to talk? You're just as bad as any of us, T-Kid. You're like the guy who puts down big businesses and yet has stock in every single company. Me too, just jealous of T-Kid. Superior character. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, we can't just sit around here bickering. Well, let's stop waiting and build that website already. But we'll be under the surveillance of Chemotrope. I say we live it bold. <laughs> I like your style. Yeah. <laughs> Both of you are insane. <laughs> Insanely beautiful. Two cheese drills. No. I've created something that there's no defense against. Alone with you in your bedroom? That's a young man's dream come true. All right, buddy, this is a work bed, so one dumb move and you're out of here. That's not fair. I'm not gonna do anything dumb. Right. So, okay, what I was thinking for the website is that it should start with the Ariality commercial. No way. There's gonna be a link to the commercial. This is all about the love cues. Oh, no, no. The cues are way too complex. All we need is a big buy the perfume button. How about this? The love cues will be brought to you by the perfume. We'll open with a shot of the perfume, and then a beautiful female voice saying, Mine. Of course. You'd be saying, the love cues brought to you by Ariality when you're playing for keeps. And we are. Right. And we'll have about eight different tabs on the website. And the big buy button. And the big buy button. Chad is going to go ballistic when he sees this. That's why you're going to tell him. <laughs> no, why me? Well... Because uh, he's crazy about you. Oh, yeah, right. No, don't even worry about it. He's too preoccupied to find a website anyways. So, how did you get Sky? Did you cure her or is she just an actress? Guns. Hey, where's he found a website that's selling the love cues? Very funny. <laughs> I'm not kidding, man. Better be. Look. <laughs> it's a scenario. I have a decision to make. Like what? We're trying to kill first. I can't believe they're doing this to me. Oh, this is getting evil, man. I'm going to the house to put an end to this website, the perfume, and the $29.99 love cues. want some info that'll help you win over X? I'm just trying to help, man. I love Wholesome Farms. How else can you get a nine-inch cherry whipped cream pie made with milk from cows that are treated humanely? 
it away. Hey, 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 let's keep it quiet and we'll keep you alive. Do you understand? Do you understand? <laughs> Has anyone seen Livia? Her and Kaylee were supposed to give him a pie like hours ago. Oh crap, well Kaylee hasn't been returning any of my things. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about, guys. Okay, who left their grocery bags outside? What are you talking about? <laughs> there's two bags and the groceries are all over outside on the steps. What? Come on, I'll show you. Pie better not be in there. Strawberry cream pie. Oh no, something bad happened. Let's not jump to any conclusions, okay? No, this is Italian leather. This is definitely Livia's. But what the heck happened? This has to be the work of Chemitrope. Why would they kidnap them? I mean, they don't have anything to do with anything. They probably want them for ransom. Look, should we call the cops? There you go again with the cops. Look, Jayla, no cops. Okay, let's just go inside and try and figure this out, okay? Okay. Look, guys, how many people are we going to lose before we just call the cops? Listen, we were captured by Chemitro. We saw army guys. You know, the cops are probably on the payroll anyways. He's right. Okay, so then what are we going to do? We can't just sit around here. We need to get a hold of Chad. He'll know what to do. No, 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 no. Bad yeah. idea. Terrible idea. But why? Because Chad is just busy with his Chemitro stuff. Yeah. The girls are in trouble. We need Chad. Yeah, we need yeah. to reach out to him. How are we supposed to do that? Through the blog? That's just going to alert Chemitro. Do we have another choice? Come on, let's just do it. All right. Hold my phone. Okay, so how long does this usually take? I mean, who knows? We may not even come after he sees the blog. I can't wait that. I got to come up with a plan. I got to save Kayleen. That's just crazy. No, it's not. I'm going with her. What? Are you serious? Yes, man. I have to find Lydia. Alright, come on, let's get ready. No, okay, just... Just stop. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry about all the crazy stuff that I said before. And please be safe, you guys. It's all good, girl. I'm not sure. I'm going with them. No, I, I can't let you do that. You're gonna get caught again. I can't let them go alone. They don't have a chance. Well, then I'm going with you. Should we just sleep on it? Looks like you and me are the only sensible people here. <laughs> sure, I hope so. Did you finish that? Yeah. Let's just hope this fool answers. I think it's this way. Yeah. Somebody's coming. It says radioactive. Oh, God, get it right now. Chad's on his way to the house and Stanley knows it. So what, now we're all at the mercy of Kimitro? 
Stanley, do this to us. Oh, you guys, maybe he's just protecting us. <laughs> Wake up. Stanley is the bad guy. No, it's not true. No, guys, it's not true. They're probably messing with him. Oh, you are so love jacked. We're so jacked. I should have at least gotten a text by now. I got a real bad feeling. It's like they're done for. We should just get out of here while we can. Yeah, um, I'm not leaving without at least knowing that they're all right. What about our business? That's the beauty of a website. We can do it anywhere, even Hong Kong. Yeah, well, I can't get a more trips in Hong Kong. <laughs> so what do you say? You want to go to Chemitro? Actually, I was thinking that I would send you to <laughs> Chemitro. <laughs> you would say that. You know, you're just like one of those bad chicks in a James Bond movie. Okay, that's a little bit harsh. Let's go. Hey, you! Wow, wow, we are, we are, we are super, super excited to see you. I, we, we were really worried about you. Yeah, me too. Really? After you steal my love cues and you started junior chemistry with your perfume. Like, you and your, your high morals. Yeah, you know Facebook will be dead on a bind if they didn't get that 500k to keep going? It's gonna take a lot of money to defeat a company like Chemistro. We're just ahead of the curve, bro. Exactly. You know, maybe I would do whatever it takes to expose Chemistro, but the two of you, you are just in it for the money. <laughs> and the girls. All right. Errol, I don't get you. You just wanted to have a fun blog. When did this turn into big business? You know, you've got a lot of nerve. You were at Chemotrope a long time before you realized that what you were doing was sick and wrong. And don't even get me started on Sky. What about Sky? Uh, you cued her? No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, You're you did. such a liar, dude. There's no way a tasty babe like that go for a dude like you. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say that a pretty girl would You wouldn't say ever... what? Nothing. Look, you can't even talk to us about anything if you can't come clean about Sky. Yeah. You're right. I did it, and... I've regretted it ever since. You know, sometimes there's a girl and you see true love, but you get tired of waiting. You know, there could be chemotrope agents right around the corner. You two are getting all mushy. I'm out of here. Okay, well, I'm not. I have to get on a morotrope. Take it easy. I will get you a modified formula that'll work as your perfume. You would do that? I can't force you guys to see things my way. Besides, I don't want everyone I care about to be in danger. You know, sometimes you're actually kind of a good guy. I'm going to Chemistry to help my friends. I'm the one who got them into this. So did I. I'm in too. What? You two can't make me the only bad guy here. Come on, reconsider. Both of you. Have fun in Hong Kong. Oh, I will have fun in Hong Kong. You know, if you do get that perfume, I'll go ahead and put it on my website for you. Good. And good luck. Thanks. Bon voyage. They're coming through the gate right on schedule. What are we gonna do with them? The usual, let's experiment. You know, I like your style. Oh, and everyone but Beth. I want her for myself. Sure. In general. Before your boys take chat, I'd like to need to debrief you. Hey, hi, guys. Hi. Oh, what's working? We're friends again? Um, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. Well, I guess you never know who your friends are. Look at Stanley. <laughs> um, what about Stanley? I'll tell you about Stanley. Ace was right about him. Wait, you mean he was the plant? The, the plant? He was the whole freaking garden. He loved Jack Beth, and then he tricked her into doing his stupid experiments. No, no, no. I, I bet he left us here to protect us. And you know what? Now they're torturing him for it. Oh, wow. wow, they are not kidding about the efficacy of these third generation mortals. You don't know him. And then he sucked us in with that video of Fritz and Beth. Uh. Well, we gotta get you all out of here. Get me, babe. As soon as I get this done. Not so fast. Oh. I got you, Chad. Chad, Chad, Chad. 
Chattalicious. Chattasaurus. Chatty, chatty, bang, bang. <laughs> Chad and the family stones. Chat out! Enough joking around, X. America's future is at stake here. China is up our ass, and let me tell you something, those chopsticks hurt. And these meddling kids have no idea what they're doing. They're endangering the future of our country. What are you saying? Just saying we have to kill them all. Stanley, you gotta stop this. This is really wrong. You're right, Beth. It is wrong to kill these kids. Especially when they're perfect to experiment on. What? Oh, shut up! There's been a high mortality rate in the amorotropes. It needs to be studied. Toxicity studies are no, people will always die. Since they're going to die anyway, for their country, we can test to the limit and find out exactly what concentration of drug induces death. You got it, kid. That's torture. I can't torture innocent civilians. If we find out what level of drug will kill, we can ensure your operatives are safe. General, as an operative, I really think you need to consider this. I agree. Why don't we leave the medical ethics to the good Dr. X? My cast somewhat appreciates my strong ethical character. All right, fine. I guess I don't have a choice. I must protect my operatives and my country. Stanley, please, please don't do this. Why? Are you going to stop loving me? Of course not. With these people, I don't, I don't know anything about drugs. I just, I just came to get Jayla home. Let's do it first. Oh, Wait, do, 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 what do you mean do? What, what are you gonna do to her? Oh my God! Oh my God! Is that What are you doing to me? Oh, don't worry. There's no danger at all. Albert is so naive. He's like a seven-year-old child. He's a morotrope test? I'm the one in danger. You mean he doesn't know the extent of the experiments? No, he never does. He's too kind-hearted. He actually thinks he's helping people fall in. Stanley, you said it was safe what they gave me. Well, you're standing here, aren't you? Give us a kiss. How are you feeling? Well, tied up. They keep puffing that smelly stuff at me. How do you think? Smelly? They told me it was lilac. But well, you still have to tell me how you feel. You are out of your mind if you think I'm helping you. Why not? You consented, didn't you? All our test subjects do. I'm tied up. Does that mean nothing to you? 
I'm sure it is for your absolute safety. Dr. X is looking out for both of us. It's uh, time for another dose. I think it's too soon. Trust me, sweetheart. I know what I'm doing. Aw, oh, Alberto. Be nice little look, girl. Oh, come on. Dr. X said you need another shot from the arrow chamber. Get that away from me. Would you rather have this? Shut up and enjoy. Stop them! I know you're good inside. I apologize for their unprofessional demeanor. You're not such a bad guy. No, I'm not. Would you mind answering a few questions? I could see helping you for, for the good of science. This is beyond good. This science is for all humanity. Well, go ahead, big boy. Take your time. Can you describe how you're feeling? Well, I'm not as pissed off as I thought I would be. I never knew answering science questions could be so fun. Are you feeling any bad feelings? If you call wanting to sit on your lap, God. We don't need you. She is responding. Dr. X said that we need two more units. This is, this is crazy. You have to stop it. That's funny, lady. These toxicity studies were Stanley's idea. You don't remember? No, no, no. I, I thought it was Dr. X's idea, and Stanley tried to stop him. Cool love. Okay. I'm fine. Don't get that near me. Unless you think you should. They say it's prescribed by Dr. X, so don't worry. His primary concern is always the safety of his subjects. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew liking guys could be so awesome. Please let me go, I can make you so happy. Okay, I promise to let you go if you answer a few more questions. Okay, okay. Remember? You like the question. Enough talking. I thought men didn't like fourth place. Oh, please, let me ask the question. What? Oh, what are you doing? I want you to oh. help. Help! Help! Oh. 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 Oh, no. Okay? Did I do something to you? What do you mean? It was 
gonna kill you all. He already killed King. No! It was for science. No! If I hadn't have brought her here in the first place, she wouldn't have come. This is my fault. She came here to stay with me. That's not your fault. You wouldn't have fallen out of love with her if Chad didn't kill you. Oh, yeah, I gave you and Ace to do the website. What's the website got to do with anything? Oh, God, T-Kid, don't get mad now. You're right, honey. Look, listen, everybody. Look, let's just calm down. No, I'm not going to calm down. They took Ariel. It's me you want. Let them go. You don't need toxicity studies. You don't need drugs. I can show you a better way. You're killing people for no reason. Listen to me. No dangerous drugs. A cheaper way. You know, this is stupid. Bringing him up here. The love cues. It's just a cult. A mere fantasy. It was worrying you before X. Let the kid talk. If he can do it cheaper, I want to hear about it. Don't waste our time. There is nothing cheaper. These drugs are the only things that work. Not by a long shot. I live up the way to do what the more troops do, but without any drugs. Impossible. Yeah, it's more than possible. It's fact. Instead of a clumsy drug that can't be controlled, as our chemical tests have... Our tests? What does he have to do with your research? Well, he was Albert before Albert was Albert, and he was Fritz before Fritz was Fritz. But he couldn't follow protocol. Why didn't you tell me about this? Ex? Your guys had gotten rid of him and taken care of him. In the beginning, when they were supposed to, it wouldn't be an issue. If he's right, and you're wrong, I'm giving him your contract. General, you cannot do that. Shh, shh, shh. Honey, it's okay. You know, I'm up for a little contest. I must do this sport, but on your turn. <laughs> right. I like that. Whoever she falls for wins. Man to man. There's got to be a better way to do this. That's the deal, kid. Take her leave. Don't tell me how to run an experiment, boy! Baby, just tell me how everything you've ever dreamed of, we can get this thing over with right now. Hey, back off. I get to cue her now. Just feeling the chemistry. Look to your deeper feelings. This? What else could there be? It hurts at one. Yes. Hey! Five feet! Back off! Yes. You must both be equal distance. This must be a true test. Yes. Feel the power of love. Set. To me, look into my eyes. Look 
into my heart. Our hearts are one. You can sense my love. Now, taste my passion. Taste my passion. Don't listen to the snake. Don't eat the apple. Don't listen to this guy, Babel. He sounds like a cheesy romance novel. I am your king. You are you my queen. Are my queen. Now, now. Burning in love. Can I resist? <laughs> yes, I, I can't resist. <laughs> yes. Look into my eyes. You are almost there. Yes. No, I, I mean, I, I don't know what I mean. Yes. Oh, oh. Wait, Amy. I, I, I don't know what I mean. Say it now. Our hearts are one forever. We're almost there. No. Okay. Yes, stop. Yes, no. She's disassociating. This stalemate of love has more emotional force than anyone can. This will permanently traumatize her and ruin the experience. No. The bond of love cannot be broken. That isn't right. Yes, no. Love should be free. You're right. She's breaking. You win. But I beg you, take me and let her free. You do love me. Well, I... I... You love me. Now this, this is a happy ending. The cues work, boy gets girl. It's a win-win for the country. We start tomorrow. I really love you. It wasn't the cues, it was your love. Yeah, but the cues held off the wicked drugs. Hey, how about we start in a couple of weeks? Got it. The two of you should spend some time together. Where's X? X! I think I could ever be this happy. This is just so incredible. Yeah, darling. I don't need a home. I sure don't need a career. I don't even need a country. All those little distractions. This is the perfect retirement. This is our own little piece of paradise. What about the Chinese trying to get X to sell the Amorotrope technology? You get that in? It's not it. You know, I don't want the general to have a coronary. So we aren't telling the general where X is. No, we're just going to see which one of them watches the movie first. 